Dire Wolf here today with a gun review on the Pulse R76. We're going to check that out here. But before we get into it, I want to say thank you guys all for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share if you guys like this video at all. And thank you guys for watching my videos. I've checked my analytics, and you guys ain't subscribing. And you guys need to hit the post notification button. It goes ting, ting, ting. And more importantly, hit the subscribe button, man. It's not that hard. Just go click, 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 booyah, and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, I just like I said, just thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Um, I know we've been slacking. I will do like a video. It's gonna be like maybe like a five minute video. It's not gonna be nothing too serious. It's just gonna go on like what I've been battling and stuff like that. Nothing bad. Just uh, yeah, that's pretty much what another video will be for another time. But I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Like I said, again, please like, subscribe, comment, and share if you guys enjoy the video. My name is Dire Wolf, and let's get into this. Guys, here we are with the the Crossbow Pulse R76. I said 78, but it's actually a 76. And yeah, there you go. It's a retractable stocks, which is pretty cool. So you can extend it for a nice uh, shoulder hold, or you could just put it like that, and you could just run and gun. I like the way the style of the AK reminds me of the AK-74U from Call of Duty. And right there, as you can tell, a nice little zoom up. That little thing that I'm tapping on right there is called a lens protector. But you could buy it on Amazon or buy it at your airsoft field. Must buy. It protects all your lenses from red dots, ACOGs, run cam, so I don't get shot out. Nice little zoom up and this is the same red dot as you guys seen on the m4 from lancer tactical the battery is actually dead so i couldn't do a like close-up zoom up type of deal overall cool gun very comfortable but is it worthy to be on the field Ooh, like that fastness the answer is no only because maybe if you upgrade it it would be but as far as that it is not it is too slow and compared to you know everybody else has got upgraded but it sounds like really like a rental kind of like when it shoots it's got that like zoom zoom that's that weird noise it just reminds me of a you know a lancer tactical that you get from your rental section from your airsoft field and that's what it sounds like but on better note so this ak-47 is can shoot up to 375 fps and you know like adjustable stock for the shoulder to make it easy to handle and it comes with a 375 high cap magazine and if you guys don't know what the difference between a mid cap and a high cap is a mid cap you don't have to wind a high cap you gotta wind up don't really like them but unfortunately that's where it's at this gut right here depending on where you buy it from can be ranged up from a hundred dollars to one hundred and forty dollars. Um, Amazon has it right now for one hundred and twenty four ninety nine. So one hundred twenty five dollars is the buy price for this gun. This can also be a good starter gun as well because it already has like the railings. It has adjustable stocks. Got a three seventy five high cap in it. You just got to buy the battery. It that's a, you know to be honest that's about it. It's just one of those guns to where. Is ready to plug in and play you'll get the best experience if you're trying not to be you know go all pro and go out like call of duty style but other than that i don't see no issue with this gun um i use this gun like once or twice before i got my arp9 to test out guns to see which would be the best and yeah i mean it's all right but that's gonna wrap up my section that nice ak 74 u from pulse r76 gun review i hope you guys like the video please like subscribe comment and share let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about what you think about the gun it's a good gun like i said there's no issues with it but it's just not competitive unless maybe you can upgrade it i don't know the whole gist that's my own word gist of uh, if you can upgrade it or not, or how much would it be to upgrade? I know, my like I said, when I upgraded my ARP9, it cost roughly about, after everything, was like 400 bucks. So, I mean, it's doable. But also, just make sure that that's the gun you're going to want to upgrade. In future references, only because you don't want to upgrade a gun that you're not going to use no more. And that's the ultimate goal. 
But further ado, thank you guys for watching. My name is Dire Wolf. And again, I'll see you guys out in the CQB field. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And hit the post notifications. It goes ting, 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 ting. Peace.